Hello and welcome ladies and gentlemen, I am Naquan Jordan, the Internet Protagonist, and in this video we're going to be taking a look at a new AI tool called Magic Hour. Magic Hour lets you create AI videos, it has um, a few different options, you can do video to video, you can do face swaps or deep fakes, you can do image to video, text to video, and they even have kind of like a music to video type feature that lets you create music videos. But what I'm going to do is I'm going to walk you through the video to video because I think that's the best tool that they have on here. And I will show you uh, some of the results of the things that I've done myself. So if we head to the new project tab, this is what pops up. They do have some templates as you can see. Um, they're all right now just basketball templates. They do look really good, but uh, if you try to run this template over, you know, any other video besides basketball, then what it's going to do is it's going to put basketball players in that video. So I would only recommend you use these templates if you're doing something basketball related. So we are going to jump into video to video. Now you have two options. You can upload a file or you can put in a YouTube URL, which is actually really cool. I have done that and it works well. But for this example, I'm going to click on upload file and you can see uh, here's some of the finished videos that I'll be showing you guys in this. And I'm just going to click on this uh, just for the demo. Now I don't have uh, that many credits. I've used up quite a bit. I only have 468 credits right now. But when you do upload, it shows you the video and I'll just play it so you can see the kind of video that it is. And I have already transformed this video. I'll show you the, uh, the finished result. But once you are good with the video, you can see this is kind of your crop tool. You can decide what part of the video you actually want to transform. And then you go down to more options here. You got the start and end time. You have the resolution and then you have the adjusted resolution. So this is for creating um, a smaller or higher resolution of the actual video. Now, since I put in a, um, a nine by 16 video, I don't really have the option to increase the aspect ratio or increase the resolution. But if you put in like a square video or a landscape video, it will give you the option to increase the resolution. Now down here you have the uh, frames per second. You can have it at half the video or you can have match the original video. And you can see a change over here. So the FPS is at 30 seconds. When I match the original video, when I play that half, it goes to 15 seconds. And you can actually see the frame cost. So in this, the frames are kind of like credits. And so each frame is one credit. And you can see when I click on 30 FPS, it doubles the frames. And I actually don't have enough to actually render this video. But I am going to put it on half just for the sake of the demo. And then they have two different models that you can use. They have Dream Shaper and Realistic. I haven't actually tried Realistic yet. I've only done Dream Shaper. But I will show you what the Dream Shaper results look like. Then you just click on Next Step. And this is where you actually put in your prompt. And so I've actually seen my best results with leaving this blank. Uh, whenever I put in a prompt, it doesn't seem to work as well as just leaving it blank. So that is what I suggest. But then of course you can choose a different style. Um, the styles that I've used the most, I've used Jinx. Jinx is actually my favorite style on here. It seems to work really well as far as the actual consistency of the character. Uh, this Kensui, I've used this one as well. This one works. And I've also used Sub-Zero. And that is basically how it works. Now it takes a few hours to render a video, especially if you're doing it uh, when there's a lot of other people online. If there's not many people online, then you can render a video in like 40 minutes. But when there is a lot of people, which today is Saturday, so I assume there's gonna be a lot of people online, it takes like two or three hours. So I will not go into a uh, rendering a video right now. Instead, I'm going to show you some of the videos that I've already done so you can see how they turned out. 
Okay, so we're going to jump into, um, this is the actual demo that I was going to do earlier. I'll show you how this one turned out. And for this, I think I used the illustration style. I can't actually remember which style that I used for this one. As you, as you can see, it is a very, very nice looking video. It looks really good. All kinds of really cool colors. The transitions from outfit to outfit looks amazing. And it does change. The actual AI does change according to her outfit. So it makes for a really, really nice video. If we jump back into it, we can see that for this one, I used the illustration. Yep. Yeah, so I used the illustration art style and I did not use a prop and I used the Dream Shaper model for this one. So we'll jump into another video. This time we will take a look at one of the Jinx models. So this one was, I used the Jinx style. Let me go ahead and mute that. I used the Jinx style and you can see it basically creates a character that looks like Jinx from the League of Legends games and it looks really good. The consistency is really good. There is a little bit of changing on the face that you get that when when the model is so far away from the camera. When it's up close, it's a lot better. But it does have the Jinx hairstyle and it does add some really cool things that just work with Jinx overall style. So that is a good model that I recommend. Once again, this one, I did not have a prop. I just used the art style Jinx and that was pretty much it. So we will take a look at uh, one more video. Let's have a look at this one here. So this one, I used the Kintsugi style. And you can see how this one turned out. Now, once again, because of how far away um, the character is, you can see that there is some morphing on the face. But as they get closer, the face gets better, the detail on it and everything. And so that is something that you'll have to keep in mind when you're using it for various videos. Just how far away the character is will affect the detail on the face. Now I will actually, I'll jump into one more just so I can show you something up close. So like this one, for example, this is a video that I've done with um, Hello Face. And I decided to run it through here to see how it would look. And you can see when the character is up close to the camera, the consistency on the face is a lot better. And so that is, these are the type of videos that probably works best with this software just because of how good it looks. But everything, everything else looks really good. You can see that the background does change a little bit and the clothing changes a little bit, but it still looks really good. And that one was, of course, the Jinx art style and the uh, no prop Dream Shaper model. So that is uh, pretty much it for this video. I'll, uh, I'll pop up a few more videos on screen as I roll out. If you have any questions or anything you want me to try out, just go ahead and leave them in the comments below. Of course, there will be a link to Magic Hour so you can try it out for yourselves. And as always, thank you so much for watching and I will catch you guys in the next video.